Hi kindergartners, it's Miss Tina here. We are going to do a blubber mitt experiment. Blubber mitt experiment. Have you ever wondered how the polar bears, the whales, the walruses live in the frigid, chilly, cold Arctic waters? Well, I'm gonna show you what is under their skin, all right? Um, and we're gonna put it, I'm gonna show moms and dads and, and you how to put it in a bag and make a mitt out of it so that you have a mitt, like a mitten, to put your hand in to test. First of all, you're gonna test how your hand, if your hand can survive and how long in cold, icy waters. And then you're gonna use the mitt and see if you can go longer with the mitt. Um, okay, so you are going to need some Crisco fat. And the fat or the blubber looks just like white, kind of ugh, um, snow, but it's kind of oily too. It's like fat, okay? And so you're going to scoop it out. I used a scoop like this, scooped it out put it in a sandwich baggie. Okay, that's your first job. Um, also make sure with you, you have your blubber mitt experiment paper. Um, our next experiment right after quickly will be the feather mitt experiment. Um, all right, so you got this. I wanna show moms, dads, how to, or a grown up, that you're gonna take this other bag and after you get the, the blubber in the bag, you have to stick your hand in this one like a mitt and go in this bag, kind of make sure there's equal amount on both sides, um, like that, and kind of keep it away from the opening. And you're gonna get your hand in there and then you can zip it. Um, that bag that I just went in with was inside out, sorry. Inside out so they can zip together. So now I can line them up and zip them together. And, and really, if you, if you like I, I'm not gonna take the time to zip it so that you don't have to watch me do that. This is a mitt. I can put my hand in, I'm not getting blubber on it. Um, it ha has a place for my hand, and that's good enough uh, for this video, okay? Um, now I'm going to um, grab, hold on one second. I'm going to grab the frigid waters. Uh, uh, what I did, and I'll show you, um, is I, let's see if I can get this down. I got a cooler. So a cooler filled with ice, with ice water. Okay, I think you can see that. Yes, okay, there I am, and there's the ice. All right, and now what I have to do is I have to stick my hand in the ice. And I ha first of all, you're estimating, you're gonna estimate on your blubber paper Estimate, put your name on it at the top, and then estimate um, how long you think, estimate for without the blubber mitt and estimate with the blubber mitt. So you're gonna estimate how long, it, how long you can keep your hand in the ice water without the blubber mitt and with the blubber mitt. And then you're gonna test do a test to see if you were correct. Okay, so I'm gonna guess I can keep my hand in for 10 seconds without the blubber mitt. And I think I'm gonna guess, oh, I don't know, let's find out, okay? You have to guess, but I kind of know the answer, so I'm gonna wait. Um, so here we go, here's without. Put my hand in, ooh. And I got the clock over here, ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 
10, 11, 12. Ooh, my hand is getting too cold. I have to take it out. Be really careful that you are um, feeling and using your senses and take it out when it's too cold. So I only got to 12 seconds. It was very icy. Can you imagine? I couldn't go swimming in the Arctic. How do the seals, actually the, the uh, beluga whales and um, the walruses and polar bears, how do they do it? Well, they have this fat around their bodies and then it's covered with skin that keeps the water away from the inside of their body. So let's try it now with my blubber mitt. You ready? Here we go. Put it in. Make sure water doesn't get inside. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight, twenty nine. 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49. What comes after 49? 49, oh yeah, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59. What's after 50s? Oh, the 60s, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70. That's the all that we can record. And guess what? My hand is toasty, toasty warm. It doesn't even feel cold at all. Wow, the blubber worked. So I'm gonna move the Arctic waters for a second. And we will record, I don't know if you can see, you would record then, you would write your name and I would write my name. All right, and then I guessed 12 and I wasn't sure right here, I'm gonna put a question mark. And then I only, with none, I could only keep it to 12 seconds. So I'm going to color that in to 12 seconds. But with the blubber mitt, I was able to go all the way up to 70 seconds. Wow. That's amazing. The blubber works. And that's why all the animals are filled with blubber. All right. The other, you would do the same thing. You would do the same thing with the baggies and you would put feathers inside and then you have a feather mitt. So if you're able to open an old pillow or go to the store to get a bunch of feathers, um, a baggie size worth, um, you can make a feather mitt and you would do the same thing. You would estimate and you would guess um, how many seconds you can keep your hand in with a feather mitt. Um, and so I'm going to try it. Um, actually, you know what? I'm not going to try it. I want you to do it and see if it's different than the blubber mitt. Okay? If you're able to make a feather mitt, do the same thing. There's a feather mitt. Um, graph where you put how how much time were you able to keep without again so you could try it again with no mitt on or you could write the same amount i could write 12 again and then put your hand in with the feather mitt do you think feathers keep you as warm as blubber that's what your goal is that's your scientific um goal all right, to find out that today by making a blubber mitt and a feather mitt. All right, we'll see you next time. Bye kindergartners, have fun.